my video for August 6th, 2019 is video number 3169. The title is Truth Remains the Enemy of the Deep State. Earlier, I watched the latest Corbett report. Quote, YouTube blacklists Federal Reserve information. It's up to you to spread it, end quote. It's certainly worth watching as I see it. Of course, it is not only the Corbett report that is being censored. All internet channels that attempt to spread information that is contrary to the elite's game plan face increased scrutiny and or censorship of one form or another. I know I have seen a dramatic decrease in my viewership as I have reported in many of my videos. While I am not deluded to believe I know all the truth and nothing but the truth, I do my best to be as honest as I can be in my daily videos. Determining truth about anything should be important to everyone, but that is obviously not the case. Although more and more people are investigating things, it remains a minority. So who is threatened by such investigations, investigation and the reporting of alternative messages intended to make us think outside the box of the planned agenda for global control of information? Obviously, it is the elite, AKA the deep state. Their agenda is built on lies and depends completely on deception. Human freedom to these charlatans is anathema. Corbett says it's up to us to share alternative viewpoints. I could not agree more. Yes, I every day when I'm thinking about what I'm going to make my next video on, and sometimes it's not in the daytime, it's the middle of the night after I've uploaded my previous video, uh, I'm wrestling because there's always more than one idea that I can take, and yet sometimes I, I don't know which one I'm going to do or which one is most important. I don't want to sound repetitive, but I know I have to keep repeating some things over and over again because I always get new viewership for one thing, but the viewership, as I've said, and as uh, Corbett reported, his, uh, his viewership went way down. Initially, when he first put out uh, the report about uh, the Federal Reserve, uh, it was number one on the search engine. All of a sudden, it's not even found. You go down several pages, and it's not even found. He says, so you have to type in not just Federal Reserve, but d the details of the actual article and then you can usually find it but if you just type in a general general term like federal reserve you don't you don't get it on the top list because all of the things on the top list are mainstream media agenda driven uh, articles that are as i said deceptive and purposely misleading they they the deep state have been master liars for the, for a long time. I do believe it goes all the way back to what we call Lucifer or the fallen angels or whatever you want to say. The lie was the beginning uh, of the whole deception thing of creation where some, for some reason, a loving God allowed fallen angels to not only, uh, to not only do their do their thing but to control others and to do it by way of deception truth was out the window it didn't matter if they didn't tell the truth because god wasn't going to bring any recompense or, or any responsibility put any responsibility on these that that tell the lies and so i i i hate I mean, I didn't intend when I started this video, I didn't intend to go here. But when I start talking, it automatically seems to come out. Because when is God going to take responsibility? And I know people say, Ron, it's up to us. It's up to us. <coughs> we are God. No, we're not. We, 
may have had at some point in creation godlike abilities, talents, gifts, and abilities. We may have had those. We may have been able to bilocate. We have may, may have been able to, uh, to transform from one spot to another like they do on Star Trek. Beam me up, Scotty. We, we may have had uh, abilities to, to know things that were not necessarily in our immediate realm, but we were expanded in our capability of knowing what's going on and seeing a bigger picture. Maybe not the whole picture, but at least a much bigger picture than what we've been uh, suppressed to see now. We can only see such a small amount. And that's why I say, I may not know all the truth anymore. No one may know all the truth. But we, if we're discerning at all, we can come to conclusions that much of what we've been told simply is lies, filled with lies. And that includes, again, our religion, our politics, and the controlling factor of the whole thing is the money game. And this is where the rubber hits the road, because those who control the money end up paying others to lie for them. Or it's a game of uh, greed and manipulation uh, through all sorts of means. I don't even want to go into all the things that just, just came into my mind. And this is one of the problems I have, because even as I'm talking, other things are coming into my mind. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, I could go off on a tangent there, or I could go off on a tangent there. But I, I want to stay focused on what it means to tell the truth. Well, when I admitted that I don't have all the truth, I also recognize that neither does anybody else. It's in human form anyway. Uh, I also have to come to the realization that there are some things that are obvious. Obviously, love is true. If we really cared about one another, we wouldn't abuse them. We wouldn't try to hurt them. And certainly we would do our everything within our power to uplift them because love would do that. Love would want the other, whatever we perceive as, a, as other, to be appreciated, to be empowered, to be enriched, to be, uh, to be made to feel worthy of the love that we're giving them. We're giving attention. We're giving uh, concern. But, but this is not the world that we live in, is it? It's not what is driving planet Earth at this time, neither in the political realm, nor the religious realm, nor the certainly not the, the uh, business realm or the monetary system. It's all based on whoever has the most marbles wins, but that's not love. That is the opposite of love. And so if we're going to get to the truth, we can only start with loving. And we need to each ask ourselves the question when we encounter others and when we uh, uh, try to uh, 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 converse or dialogue with others, are we being loving? Uh, I can't say that I've always been loving in everything that I've done. I can't say that. I wish I could. But I know some of the things that I've done in retrospect have not been loving, even though it might have been the best decision I thought I could make at the time. Uh, I realize that I missed the mark. And we've all missed the mark. So I, I'm wanting, again, I'm wanting the ultimate creator to take responsibility for creation. And I, I know a lot of people hate it when I say that, but it comes down to that. And I want that creator to turn on the codons in me that have been turned off. And not me alone, but everyone else that has good intent, that doesn't want to control others and hurt others and take advantage of, of weakness, others' weaknesses. Anyway, folks, my time is up, and I thank you for listening. Namaste.